October the 12th, 2023. I'm going to be your host tonight. I'm Dana Durnford. I'm also known as nuclearproctologist.org. So it's Thursday. This is the last show of the week, officially. You never know when it comes to nuclear. They could have an earthquake in Japan. We got to do a show right away. But don't worry, it won't be a live show. I'm not allowed to do live. After a decade of doing live shows, when the official cover story came out on August the 24th, Hackers from the nuclear industry, what the, I think they call it dosing my IP address, so I can't actually stream anywhere. I can from my cell phone, though, surprisingly. So we're just going to go on the same theme we've been doing all week. Now, f since July the 13th, we've been covering the tritium fable. And I'll explain that to you in, in just a second. So, think about this headline. The world's food chain could be compromised. Japan's radiation seems inescapable. This model is only based on venting. It's not based on the actual loss of the inventories from four reactors. That's reactor three and four. There was two more. Reactor one and two. This is 19 days of radioactive followed. All the models... Uh, agree with uh, that synopsis that it's around 20 days to cover the entire planet with radiation. And it's late. I was out on the ocean all day. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just... Uh, so we had a problem with the motor. And the workaround, I decided, because I couldn't get the motor to start, and I killed the batteries, and I recharged both batteries, and I changed fuel tanks. But the other fuel tank had no fuel, and so I had to go get some gas to put in that. And I pressurized the system. Well, the first thing I done was took off the fuel filter off the engine, checked it, the outboard, and then the Raycor water separator. It was full of gas, so it was fine. So there's something wrong with my other tank. I'll have to figure it out. But we got it running. Uh, I got about six hours in on the ocean. I kicked it off with a live stream. From my cell phone, I can't stream from my Windows operating system. It's just from my cell phone. Now I'm back home, scrub up and get in the studio and get a show out for tonight. I got a 30-minute video from today on the ocean, high quality, that's um, transferring onto my computer. And so after this, I'll convert that one, but I'll convert this one first, get it up as a premiere convert the other one, get it up as a video, so you got something extra on the weekend. And the video, I explain everything in the video, so I'll leave it at that. International Atomic Energy Agency, uh, my goodness, these creatures have stolen humanity's future. The nuclear industry is insane. That's probably the only way you can really describe the industry. It's the same with power, too, and with the Omni site. It's gotten away with everything for 80 years, just big secrecy around it and everything else. This was meant to hide their crimes. That's all that was. Yeah, 80 years of crimes. So the International Atomic Energy Agency's radiation standards are merely an international consensus as studies had not found a safe level of radiation. And that's quite the revelation. He also cited a study from the National Academy of Sciences that said that one out of five workers would suffer from cancer if exposed to what the International Atomic Energy Agency deemed an allowable radiation level. 
but there's 1,800 diseases you got to worry about. It triggers literally every disease you can think of. Radiation is a foreign invader. You don't have an autoimmune trigger to defend against it. The panel said there should be sufficient justification for the project if the standards are not based on what is safe, but how great the benefit. But there, there is no benefit from anthropogenic man-made radiation. Zero benefits. Your body attacks any and all of the, the isotopes, the atoms, uh, with white blood cells for the rest of your life. So there is no benefit. There is no homesis or homeostasis. Japan radioactive children, radioactive children. This new scientist, now officially nothing is, the official story as of July the 13th of this year was that never happened. Only 2.2 grams got out of the missing buildings, and that was only tritium. And they're doing that because they know they killed the planet. They definitely killed the Pacific and Atlantic already. We're seeing broken food chain everywhere. And the catalyst, the only thing everything got in common was the perpetual radioactive fallout for the last 12 years, almost 13 years. Uh, thyroid glands are only emitting 35,000 microsieverts and claiming anything under 100,000 microsieverts is not dangerous. Like, if the gland... Th um, it's hard to comprehend how much we're actually talking about. That, and what it means is the thyroid glands, which is three centimeters by five centimeters, typically are going to have a tumor show up around two centimeters right away, or a couple of them, and because the gland is so small. But the reason it's doing that is because it's completely saturated with man-made isotopes, which are not created by the solar system or the sun. And so the man-made radioactive isotopes, so think of each microceiver as, say, 150 atomic decays, physical atoms a second. It's completely dishonest to measure it in millisieverts. So you multiply 35,000 by 150 atoms, and that's what they're suggesting is just in the thyroid. The thyroid is not the arbiter of isotopes. If you got that much in your thyroid gland, your whole body is saturated. It's sequestered in your muscles, your organs, your bones. And anybody that suggests that anything under 100 uh, millisieverts, 100,000 microsieverts is not dangerous, should be put in a loony bin with a drip and or in jail forever if they're in positions of authority. They should lose that authority. If you got a degree, they should lose that degree. Six in ten Fukushima children have diabetes. Six in ten of the children in the nuclear wastelands have diabetes. And the head of the Tokyo Area Medical Clinic, we are, we are expecting diabetes in children from Fukushima radiation. Health specialists are saying that 11 backwards a kilogram children will see heart problems. Uh, they're growing food right alongside the one-ton bags, which is 100,000 backwards a kilogram. There's 1,000 kilograms in each of these bags. There's over 30 million one-ton bags. 1.4 million tons of water, they claim. We, we know now that's not true. The tanks were built to manipulate you. Uh, to acquiesce you into giving up your ability to know what was going on. Uh, the food was banned by 55 countries, uh, 55 countries from 14 prefectures. And they should be just yelling every one of these out, screaming. And that's common. People are going to lose their minds. Right now we're seeing hundreds of thousands of protests in South Korea for tritium because they don't understand the buildings are actually gone. They bought the propaganda, bought into, and that was on purpose. They were fed it, and not spoon-fed it. They were stuck a hose down their throat and just poured a five-gallon bucket of bull 
crappy all down their throats. 50 bucks a kilogram in adults and teenagers and stuff like this. You know, animals, big animals, lead to irreversible lesions in the vital organs. It's probably one of the most frightening statements imaginable. So you can put 200 million Beckwells, and think of a Beckwell as an atom. You put 200 million on the head of a needle, which you can't see it. So try, try comprehending how many 50 is, because you can't smell it or taste it or hear it or feel it or touch it or pick it up or throw rocks at it or perceive it. And cancer is not the only illness. I mean, I've done presentations on hospitals, what happens with the radiation. So they go and get a brain, a neutron beam to their brain, and they end up with uh, anal cancer and, and kidney cancer and lung cancer and, and breast cancer for the females and the males. They end up with uh, all kinds of bizarre cancers. And cancer is just one of 1,800 diseases. you got heart problems, liver problems, lung problems, respiratory. These are debilitating, life-threatening illnesses because we're talking about radiation. And so for 80 years, they say, oh, we don't see a lot of cancer, so therefore everything is okay. All of those should lose their degrees immediately. Pre-Fukushima was one in a million children would have thyroid tumors. You're talking about these tumors are two centimeters, and uh, the thyroid is three by five centimeters. So when uh, pre-Fukushima, it was around one in a million children would have a thyroid tumors. Now it's 13,646, not out of a million, but out of 38,000. It's uncomprehensible, really. It's, it's unconscionable what the nuclear industry is doing to try to protect itself. And the only way it can protect itself by sta is to stab every creature, animal, insect, everything on the planet with millions and millions of radioactive emissions. U.S. government funded study. The West Coast Hawaii residents are Fukushima downwinders. Fukushima downwinders. Let me show you what an actual downwinder really is. There's one of my go-tos. Uh, the radioactive plume to your left, you can see the progression. The accident happened March 11, 2011. And so 25 days later, 20 days after, 20 days after the last reactor blew up, April the 7th, 2011, the entire planet is covered in perpetual radioactive fallout. U.S. government-funded study, West Coast and Hawaii, the effects of the radiation exposure are expected to be beneficial. That's Loveless Respiratory Research Institute, Dr. Raymond Gilmetty, I would imagine, the beagle puppy hater, which, and they're the military-industrial complex. They're the actual uh, Navy that does that research. For downwind populations, hometic effects activated natural protective processes are more likely than harmful effects, deleterious effects. Whoever said that should lose their degree. Whoever wrote it should lose their degree. And should get like a billion dollar fine for being a scumbag of humanity. U.S. government funded study Loveless respiratory, I cut your throat. Child's risk of cancer is 10 to 100 times higher than an adult with the same exposure. I think it's actually a thousands of times worse, particularly because they're developing and they're producing a huge amount of hormones and stem cells, and these become mutated and radioactive. And so the child grows up with a host of debilitating illnesses. And by the time they're a teenager, their future is, is pharmaceuticals for the rest of their life if they survive.
the onslaught. There was 865,000, this is insane, 865,000 extra cancers in the first year. 865,000 cancers. Right, the food was banned in 14 prefectures, so everybody in these prefectures got ridiculous amount of radiation. It's a re airborne, breathing it in, consuming it. It's landing on their clothing in the playgrounds at the school. Six in 10 Fukushima children tested of diabetes were expecting diabetes, said the head of the Tokyo Medical Clinic. 45% of the kids in Fukushima survey had thyroid expo exposure to radiation, up to 50 millisieverts per year equivalent for a one-year-old. And so 50 millisieverts a year. You can't quantify using that number because you're supposed to measure it in Beckles. And lots of kids dropped and dead are heart attacks. The very lowest levels of radiation are harmful to life. We have to rethink the exposure levels from nuclear. That's a great statement, actually. Celebrated physician, Fukushima has humanity on Humanity on the brink of a possible worldwide nuclear holocaust and the world as we know it has changed. And that the effects upon your health are incomprehensible. This was the Neptunium 239 dispersal. Uh, this was TEPCO's data and it's not really based on real numbers. It's not based on just any of the reactors. It's only based on the, the, f the venting. So let me get this straight. The earthquake hits the coastline. There's a tsunami, multiple tsunamis, because you had the whole bunch, you had like 180 miles of the continental shelf just drop. That's it. And that happens all the time. It's a tectonic event, right? But that was quite the, quite the jolt for the continent. And and so there was no telephone poles for 1,200 miles. There was no infrastructure. There was no power. So there was no way to vent it. And when you look at the billings, I don't need to tell you that they didn't vent it. Now, they got Hollywood movies out there saying that they stopped it from melting down just in the nick of time or they would have had to evacuate Tokyo. But they didn't stop it. And that's a big problem. And they don't have a right to destroy humanity and the 8 million species. They're, not in, they're just criminals. They're nothing special. They're just your typical monster that has been able to shirk their responsibilities for 80 years. But it's time to retroactively hold all the nuclear industry scumbags, degenerate monsters accountable. And that'll happen if the truth comes out. Nuclear radiation is the most carcinogenic thing that exists. And Japan kept growing food in a nuclear wasteland despite 55 countries banning it for a decade. Notice, and Canada didn't because Canada's not really a country, right? Canada removed all the restrictions after 93 days, so the degenerate Japan shipped it to Canada because they couldn't ship it anywhere else because 55 of their major exporters had banned all the food from 14 prefectures, not just Fukushima. At the time of half the country was acknowledged. And now the official story is nothing happened. They changed it on, they moved the goalpost on July the 13th. Child's risk of cancer is 100 times. The Wall Street Journal officials sharply raised the levels to get iodine pills 75 times higher than the hideous traitor, the World Health Organization. And think about that statement, send us people don't mind dying. So first off, let me remind you, there is not a single nuclear academic on the entire planet that doesn't know those pictures. There's not one. And that every one of the nuclear universities, nuclear academics, nuclear corporations, 
nuclear professors, nuclear students, every one of them knew the fuel pools and the reactor cores were gone right away, every one of them. And they have spent almost 13 years working diligently to brainwash you and take away your only chance of a future. Your children have no future if you do not make a stand. You have no future. This is the real deal. They're not hiding that because it's harmless and innocuous and benign. And let me give you a demonstration of what I mean by that, of course. Otherwise, I'm just another conspiracy theorist, is somebody who tells the truth. So the people to the right, or creatures, which we call them here, uh, are pretending they're 150 feet above the stump that should have been razzed all the way to the ground to your left. They put a cover over that and then pretend that, that they're getting fuel out of the pools. You can see four of the top scumbag medias, and that's just a fraction of Western media that hoodwinked the entire planet. Asia, so South Korea, Taiwan, China, and Japan now looks successfully to have hoodwinked Asia. They've excluded anybody with a narrative that is resembling the truth. And I've been ostracized for many years. I'm completely honest, 100% of the times, I provide all the documenta documentation for all of my assertions. The industry provides nothing. It's the duty of the scientific community to reduce the public sphere and anxiety about radiation, saying 876,000 microsieverts a year is no adverse side effects. So these people should lose their degree. There should be a penalty they should be locked up for at least 90 years. And all the government agencies in the nuclear industry, this is the lie they're going to tell you. All the universities are going to tell you that same lie. All the academics in the nuclear industry is going to tell you the same lie. And all the media worldwide have to participate in the lie for it to work. And universities. UN committee chairman studying Fukushima wouldn't expect to see health effects in children, workers, or anyone else. And because the official story is there's nothing happened. It, the official story is that never happened. And then and then the British public relation campaigns like, how can we sit there and let them vomit all over everybody's future when all you got to do is hold them accountable? That's it. It's not very hard either. I provided you with a ridiculous amount of documentation over the last decade. It's a ridiculous amount. It's, it's absurd, really. It doesn't even seem like it's possible when you look at what we've actually done. Because with so much information, endless research expeditions for four to five months at a time doing species counts on the Pacific, those were difficult times. It's such hard times for me. Just remembering all of it is very painful for me. Fukushima newspaper editor, we don't report on the health risk from radiation. Pe people might worry. Well, you know, you have radiation protection departments, you, you funded them, you, you gave them the authority, you gave them the equipment, you gave them, uh, you, you know, you gave them whatever they wanted, you gave them the educations, everything. In case there was an event, and when it happened, they were the ones that uh, cut your throats worldwide. They were the first ones to come out and stab you in the back, and they're still doing it today. And we've covered tens of thousands of journalists over the year to cut your throat. It's it's really something. It's terrifying. It's like this incredible death cult that I had never known existed is now blatant. Fukushima is adversely affecting neighboring countries, says a Nobel Prize winning author. What is the most important ethics for humans is to act to act is not to destroy conditions that are necessary for the next generation to live, which is what I've been talking about since we started the stream, right? 
Fukushima disaster is the worst case of nuclear contamination in history. Is the worst case of nuclear... Well, we've never had multiple reactors melt down. We've never had that. And just one of these reactors, not counting the 5 to 10 to 15 fuel pools at the top of the building, or reactor cores in the fuel pools, there's two fuel pools at the top of each building, decades and decades of reactor cores. That's all gone. Now... Chernobyl was a brand new reactor, for instance. It was two years old. It was mostly graphite. These are pure uranium, pure plutonium. And mix oxide fuel was uh, reclaimed uranium plutonium. So this was everything that comes out of that is a super hot particle. And the fallout is equal, is equivalent to radioactive fallout is equal to 2 billion times industrial poison. Fukushima crisis is a global problem. Denial and cover-up clearly not working. Well, it's working now, it seems to me. The cover-up is hideous. And the industry can't be allowed to get away with this. We shouldn't rest until we have every one of them criminally held accountable, debarred, take away their degrees, put them in prison. Every one of them have to be held accountable, particularly the public relation firms, they disarm the entire planet so they can get a, a measly paycheck. Destroy their own loved one's future, their future, everybody else's, all the species, so they can get a paycheck. And then have the audacity to look in the mirror and tell themselves they're good people. Japan nuclear experts getting worse. People all over the world need to be informed. It's the first case where so much contaminated water was flowing into the ocean. Flowing. Flowing into the ocean. Fukushima contaminated soil. 105,000 sites, 30 million one-ton bags. So there's 30 times more one-ton bags than there is the fabled water. Now, I've done entire presentations on the tanks, entire presentations on it, multiple ones. They're in my playlist. That'll get you completely up to speed after a couple of hours. All neatly packaged, all the documentation. You can win any case in court with the documentation that we provide. All of eastern Japan evacuated the Fukushima plant was abandoned. Well, Fukushima is abandoned. Look at it. You can't do nothing there. And there, it's abandoned many times because the steam coming out of the ground is lethal doses. If you walk through the steam, you drop dead halfway through. And you have to be buried in a nuclear dump. All of eastern Japan evacuated Fukushima plant. So they, they went through all the homeless that they can find in Japan. They, they destroyed the most vulnerable of society because of their cowardness. And, and even worse, they gave them paper suits. Uh, the, most, the most vile creature is the one that gave the workers at a nuclear meltdown paper suits they they deserve to be held to a very high standard and should be publicly recognized as the worst villains humans have ever seen it's unconscionable that you would give someone paper suits at a nuclear meltdown tepco was bragging a few years back they burnt seven thousand paper suits a day we were picking on them for about a week and a half Asking, where where did TEPCO do with all those paper suits? Yes, 7,000 people, they said. There's zero possibility there's 7,000 people a day on that site. And he said the majority of them, around 6,000, were working on the water issue. Uh, the only people on the site is the homeless, the destitute, the victims of society, the immigrants who don't speak the language. Seawater is being poisoned at a continuous rate 
discharges of Fukushima nuclear material into the Pacific effectively contaminated the sea. And the melted reactor cores will burn again if water is not perpetually poured in. Uh, the official story is there's about 140 tons of water a day. That's equal to a garden hose split four ways, and each one of those four ways, one of them sprayed on that one, one of them sprayed on that, one of them sprayed on reactor two, and one of them sprayed on the reactor one meltdowns. All of them are multiple meltdowns inside the buildings because they had uh, around 10 reactor cores at the top of the building because they don't have a repository anywhere worldwide. Japan will be ruined if the public doesn't realize they're being exposed to Fukushima radiation. If you don't realize they're being exposed to radiation. So let me take you back to the creepy 2000 or this year to July the 13th, when a professor of Department of Nuclear and Quantum Engineering in South Korea, Yo Jong Il, probably first cousin to his dad, the 1.37 million tons of wastewater stored in Fukushima plant included approximately 2.2 grams of tritium, and he said, it's equally throwing three grams of sugar cubes into the ocean. So the total release from them is equal to three grams of sugar. And because a professor said it, and it's obviously 100% lie, and every academic, nuclear academic on the planet was laughing their guts out for days over that story, I bet you. They hate your guts. As soon as you become, a, you can't become a nuclear academic unless you hate humanity and the eight million species. The censorship, I got a whole friggin' folder just on censorship. Around the clock monitoring of blogs on nuclear power. There is no blogs on nuclear power. I'm about it. They're all kicking the shit out of me every day. Fukushima nuclear report was so shocking we decided to treat it as it, if it didn't exist. 60 and older should be prepared to die at the Fukushima plant. 60 and older should be prepared to die at the Fukushima plant. 60 and older. So what should happen to this professor from South Korea? Should he get like the firing squad at least? Tokyo Vice Governor suggested a Fukushima draft. We all Japanese must face it. And the sale of foreign Geiger counters were banned. So, like, this is incredible carnage. But yet the official story as of July this year, and now we've regurgitated by the Internet, excuse me, the Atomic Energy Agency, and the world-wide uh, universities and medias, particularly scumbag Britain, scumbag Australia, they're really the worst, aren't they? The worst humans possible, the nuclear industry out there in both of those countries. They're despicable. Uh, their whole, you know, their whole legacy is predicated upon deceit and dishonesty and deception, misrepresentation and genocide and omnicide. So should, should 60 and older be prepared to die every time one of your power plant breaks down? You got any idea how crazy that statement actually is? Why would you want this shit on your planet for? Don't worry, Dana. Nothing got out. Only 2.2 grams of tritium. You're going to release 0 0.06 grams a year for the next 3,000 years. Don't worry. It's natural, Dana. TEPCO has worked vigilantly to shut out close scrutiny of the ravaged. Ravaged? Look, I generally usually only show you reactor three and four, let your imaginations figure out how bad that is, and then multiply it by two because reactor one and two are gone too. This is not a game, and we are not going to sit here 
in silence and and uh, accept defeat, we are going to win this battle at some point. We're going to win it by this constant um, educational presentations. Japan Times column, as the public, possibly worldwide, sickens over time, sickens over time because of your power plant breakdown. $16 should be prepared to die. They're going to have a Fukushima draft. And the public's going to get sick worldwide. You know, and obesity, if you got friends who've been, you know, like their normal weight their whole life, and all of a sudden gained all kinds of weight in the last decade right out of the blue, you might want to consider as it's radioactive poisoning. Because that's a symptom, a marker. Weight gain after a nuclear crisis in Fukushima is definitely a crisis. We've never seen anything like it in our life. Excessive weight gain after nuclear crisis is the marker of radiation brain damage. And so look at this. They're pretending they're in a building that doesn't even exist. I, I think it's stunning how evil they actually are. There's so many evil things on the planet, but nuclear... It controls all your universities, all of your media, all of your government agencies for energy, for instance, are completely co-opted and infiltrated by this disgusting death cult known as the nuclear industry. Think about this absolute contempt. Is this how Japan treats their elderly? It's time to make a geezer suicide squad. They're talking about sending in people have worked all their life to build a country and then they want to throw them away like a paper towel. I can guarantee you that these people would want to come up and tell me that story. And there's no jury on the planet that would convict me of what I would do to them. Map shows Fukushima followed the United States. Radiation dose in the Northeast and Great Lakes is equal to the West Coast. We're talking about um, all the Northern Hemisphere. Here's a model from France. This is CC-137. Um, this, uh, this model will stop at 20 days. There are 10 million Beckwells a square meter. they got studies to back it up per square meter. I'm sorry, cubic meter. 10 million Beckwells a CC-137. And so that plume would have been saturated with curium isotopes, which is the biggest byproduct of the radiated fuel rods, and everything else. It's covering the entire planet in 20 days. All models from all countries are shown us that particular attribute. Massive radioactivity release at Fukushima going on for three years. Visible steam is just the tip of the iceberg. The containment vessels are broken. Let me have a look. Uh, there is no containment vessels. They, they didn't, they're not broken, they're gone. They were atomized and aerosol and ionized and radiated and covered the entire planet in perpetual curium fallout. It's a stunning revelation, that. And the, and, and the steam they're talking about is where the earth is cracked wide open for volcanic explosions on their ground from the chain reactions. And then any water, because water, like a liter of water, will expand 1,100 cubic foot in a split second. And these temperatures we're talking about are 9,000 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. And so the water is atomized and aerosol ionized and radiated, along with any dirt or steel or rebar at these enormous temperatures. Think about barbecuing a moose at 9,000 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. Like Puff, it's gone. Doomsday-like radiation release of fire in the Unit 4. Well, see, Unit 4 is over there. Every academic on the planet took one look at the picture. Every nuclear expert, every nuclear scientist, every, and the 
the million nuclear engineers that are to all looked at the building to the left and the right and said the fuel pools are gone, the reactors are gone, period. And every one of them turned their back on you and the eight million species. They turned their back on their own children, their own friends, their own families, their own loved ones for this stupid death cult. It's no exaggeration. This is the UN Secretary or uh, Japanese amb US Ambassador wrote to the degenerate UN Secretary General. It's no exaggeration to say the fate of Japan and the whole world depends on the number four reactor not looking like that. And guess what? The fate of the world on a single building? Why would you have a building like that on your planet? Like that building, whatever, there's not even a building left, should be rezzed to the ground. There's nothing left there. Right, and there was two fuel pools at the top of the building and a reactor core was at the top of the building. And this picture is great because you can see the reactor core. Right, the re reactor core is right here. That's the top part, and on the other side is the bottom part of the re or that's the bottom part, and the other side is the top part of the re reactor core, and that's the containment right there. And that's supposed to be up right roughly where my finger is. And what you see behind me, that's the elevator shaft for lowering uh, cast with fuel assemblies into it down onto a special transport truck. You know, look at the building. Everything is pushed out of the building. Everything is completely, the building is completely gone. There's no longer this 190 foot tall building. This is not a game. Just ask all those loved ones. There's another study, congenital uh, malformations. So a heart disease operation rose to 14.2% per 100,000 live births. That should have been the headline. Because 14.2% is 14,200 children need open heart surgery. Or they get incredible debilitating diseases and illnesses if they don't do it. So it, it's it's... Incontestable, it's unassailable. Tends to concentrate in the testicles. 360 plus atoms of radioactive sulfur. This is not radioactive sulfur like the average person knows radioactive sulfur. This is sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs. This is where they sprayed the salt on the melting reactors because they had no fresh water. Which, which, which was an insane thing to do on top of that. Because the salt is liberated and forms these, these um, suspirical shapes like a soccer ball. They ingest a curium, which is the biggest byproduct of radiated fuel rods, and the other isotopes, and become super hot particles insidiously for everything with replicating cells. Workers say ground under the Fukushima plant is cracking and the radioactive steam is coming up. Uh, you're talking, it was lethal doses in six places coming out of the ground. So this was another study on the sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs. 1,500 atoms of radioactive sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs per cubic meter in the California air. And there's just a tiny like literally smaller than a grain of salt will cause debilitating illnesses over your entire life. Irreversible heart damage for children with 50 becquels a kilogram. And the cesium-137, it's an insidious lie to suggest that's the one you should... And it's a nasty oyster, but it's, it's absurd to suggest this is what you should be worried about. Because you should be worried about the curium isotopes, which is the biggest byproduct of the radiated fuel rods. This is why we call it a curium core meltdown, because uh, it changes its integrity to this monstrous isotope. 
You need uh, lead shielding 20 times thicker than you do for plutonium. Cesium-137 immediately damages the heart muscles. It's not slow acting. Number four reactor, top national security issue for the entire world. It's a number four is a top national security issue for the entire planet and a single building. It could one day start the ultimate catastrophe, a single building. I thought it was like a banana and a potato chip and watching the sunshine. Sleeping next to somebody, climbing mountains, and eating peanut butter. Like the lies they've told you, it's hard to comprehend why there, any of them could ever talk again. Government raised the contamination standards to limit payments of relocation money. Tep, tep go fight them all the way. No, we got to give people money. The shareholders got lots. They don't need no more. Tokyo press conference, the deliberate cover-up of the public exposure to radiation from Fukushima and the health problems they're suffering from is now Japan's biggest problem. Continual, purposeful concealments of the facts. Blah. This is such crazy stuff, isn't it? So wrap your mind around this statement. So reactor one and reactor three blew up. Reactor four is right there, but there's no video of reactor four. Got a video of reactor three, got a video of reactor four. They didn't have to move the camera to catch them. They're all in the one spot, mm -hmm. see? So where's the video of reactor four blowing up? And they, they, they vehemently deny this is blown up. They vehemently deny. I, I got a stalker for over a decade from Japan. All he does is stalk me. Radiation is like explosions going off in a cell. And it blows holes in the DNA every second, almost at the speed of light forever. Officials admit decontamination is only reducing external exposures. So the buildings blew up. There's nothing left. They kept the stumps there so they can put these contraptions on it and then pretend they're in the buildings getting the fuel at the fuel pools when the buildings don't even exist. And they've also had lots of nuclear pundits that were uh, willing to cut your throat and probably done it for free. Like Arne Gunnarsson, for instance. Now, I built, the division I ran built nuclear fuel racks for boiling water reactors exactly like Fukushima. And Unit 4 it has always been my biggest concern. <laughs> if you watched our website, on the very first week of the accident, I was saying that if Unit 4 were to catch fire, you'd have to evacuate Tokyo. Well, to your right is Unit 4. Arnie is promoting, this is Arnie Gunnarsson, Fairwinds. He's promoting the building to the left, not the building to the right. And his lovely monster maggot Gunnarsson. Officials admit decontamination only for reducing external. Like, it's the whole... That statement is insane. That's an insane statement. And we, we, we know this anyway, right? Radioactive, this is U.S. government, radioactive material from reactors is 2 billion times more toxic than industrial poison. A thousand years from now, contaminated water from Fukushima may be still entering the Pacific Ocean. Oh, it's going to be a lot longer than that. Oh, dear me. Nuclear power generation is the only invention that may destroy the future of human beings. 
major U.S. papers, time to quit nuclear power altogether, and it threatens the very existence of human civilization as we know it. Amigo Kaku, a famous physicist from the United States, human civilization may destroy itself. I mean, look at Fukushima. Liquefaction of three nuclear reactor cores. It's still out of one out of control. Nobel Prize winner on NHK, which is the major media in Japan. The only way to preserve human life is to completely turn away from disease factories, also known as nuclear power. And so originally it was a lot of people warning you, wasn't it? EU en and devolved went silent, went dark. EU Energy Commissioner calls Fukushima an apocalypse and that almost everything is out of control. Not almost everything, everything is out of control. France ja says Japan has lost control. The French should leave the country. Does any of this sound like tritium to anybody? And by the way, you can't read the tritium signal because the curium, uranium, plutonium, the americium, neptunium, the strontium isotopes and their daughters are so powerful they'll drown out the tritium signal. Swiss Embassy evacuates Tokyo fearing radiation. Fukushima is very uncertain. Tokyo has lost almost all control of events at Fukushima. Nuclear report warns of an apocalyptic scenario at Fukushima in the weeks ahead. It could one day be considered the start of the ultimate catastrophe of humanity. Like when you look at the original uh, pictures of Reactor Three, look at that. That is gone. That is so gone. It's ridiculous. I mean, the building detonated. To your right, and so they put this contraption over there, over the stump of Reactor Three, because there's nothing left. They should have raised it all the way to the ground, but they left it there. So they put this contraption with Toshiba's help and pretend they're getting the fuel out of the fuel pool. And that, that's what they've done for the 10th anniversary. Came out and announced they got all the fuel out of the fuel pool, which is at the top of the buildings, 150 feet above whatever that piece of dirt you got left there is the stump. There's the fuel pool way up there. Nuclear fallout will engulf Taiwan. People should stay home or immediately take off their clothes and cleanse the nuclear contaminants. So the current administration in Taiwan completely disavows this reality because that's their media. Radioactive rain caused 130 schools in shitty South Korea to close. 130 schools closed. But this current administration in South Korea says there was no radioactive whatsoever anywhere to be found. And it'll be a decade before the ocean brings it to South Korea. So your planet has been taken over by the nuclear death cult. Do you, I don't, like, you almost got to come up with a new name for these creatures. They're so evil. They're so hateful. They're so dangerous. Ra radiation data from Seattle survey may be withheld by the feds for national security purposes. You paid them. You gave them the authority to monitor the equipment. And so when it finally happened, they're going to withhold the information. If you think you got a government, you are lunatics. The radioactive xenon 133 in Washington was 450,000 times above detection levels. No, not true, Dana. Nothing got out, only 2.2 grams of tritium. We actually had somebody in the comments section last night that said that. TEPCO admits it will run out of workers in five years. It'll run out of the homeless, the destitute, the victims of society, the immigrants don't, who don't speak the language. It's not nuclear scientists, it's not academics, it's not nuclear employees, not nuclear corporations, not nuclear institutions or nuclear universities or alumni. It's scum. That's the only thing you can call the nuclear industry. 
the true, truly the degenerate of society. This was Jerry Thomas, despicable, disgusting, maniacal, vicious, mass murderer. She she kills children with radiation in hospitals for kicks. She's a professor at Imperial College where she spews the most despicable lies for so long it's unconscionable that someone like that could actually call themselves humans. Seniors are sought for the front line radiation cleanup at a nuclear meltdown. Seniors. Temporary job. Japanese workers brave radiation. This is Vancouver's son, by the way, Canada. Japanese workers brave radiation for a temp job. No, this is temp workers are manipulated and deceived and coerced into going into the most... Like you can't you see these people over there stood up? You can't do that. That's lethal doses. It can't be done. These are photoshops. It's almost as if TEPCO officials are aliens from another planet. Uh, well, it's not almost. These are these are some bizarre creatures. They got nothing to do with the human DNA, I can tell you that much for sure. And neither does a journalist. The journalist now is the most despicable, hateful, dis disgusting betrayal imaginable. What they've done for 80 years, there was no reason to be this cruel. That's one of the most cruel acts, uh, the most biggest breach of academic science in human history. Fukushima is a global threat and a global response urgently needed. And its situation could prove catastrophic for the world. Well, I mean, send us people who don't mind dying. Seven people died on a particular shopping street. Seven people. In the first year. Did you got a street in your town where seven people dropped dead? I'm literally dropping as we're doing the video here. <laughs> like, my eyes are so heavy. I literally got to, like, force my eyes open. <laughs> to do the video. All that fresh air out on the ocean that they beat the shit out of me. And we had a good groundswell out there today. It's hard to appreciate as I go out the harbor because I was tucked away when we shot that live stream with the Android phone this morning. It's crazy. I got up 7 a.m. at 7.05. I was out working on the boat, waiting for the kettle to boil to get a cup of tea. <laughs> and it uh, took about an hour before I finally got the boat to work. I was so happy when I heard the motor start up. You, it's hard to comprehend how happy Dana was this morning. And then time I got everything hooked up and dragged the boat down and got the boat in the water and started drifting out the harbor. Uh, it was crazy. It's just crazy. It's been busy. We've been so busy. We got a lot accomplished in the last eight, ten days. We got the truck back, and it's 100% fixed, folks. I towed the boat up the big hill today. No, nothing to it. So really super happy with that. So we got, the, let me see, we got the truck fixed. We got the audio fixed after all these years yesterday. We got the bike fixed, and we got the boat fixed, and we got a day on the ocean, too, punched in. Day, um, I think this is our 17th trip since summer, because we were down for over a month. We had the boat break down on us multiple times this year. I had to fix it myself each time. I actually had to pull the heads off to put a new pump in this summer. I was literally crying the whole time. I can't believe I'm doing this. I had three heart attacks in February, for God's sakes. The, the planet got me ran into the ground, right? I, I, was, I had to pull the, just before I had, the day before I had heart attacks, I was out in a snowstorm pulling the gas tank off the truck. I'm just mad, but. I'm still hurting from that one. I got seven stints put in after the heart attacks, which is a record for the province, apparently. 
And um, I, I wouldn't be here if we didn't do that, right? Thank God they, they done that. Um, EU Energy Commissioner calls Fukushima an apocalypse. We covered that earlier, friends. We covered that and that. Even an elementary school kid knows TEPCO's always lies. I'm going to have to give it up because I can't keep my eyes open here. <laughs> I gotta keep. I I gotta go ahead and convert the video. I gotta keep my eyes open, so that there's a show tonight. I gotta convert the video, uh, which means I gotta take this 30, 35 gigabyte file, crunch that down to a gigabyte. That takes thirty minutes or something or more. Then I gotta upload it to the website and wait for it to show up in high quality before you guys can see it on your end. <laughs> I fall asleep. I'll pull it off, and then uh, I'm probably going to sleep hard. I think we're supposed to get, like, huge, stupid amount of rain tomorrow. I was hoping to get back on the ocean. It's dismal out there. I got a video, a 30-minute video that I'm going to upload to tonight. Or maybe I'll wait till the morning and upload that one. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. We'll get this one floating tonight because otherwise people might go one or the other instead of... This is such an important video. we got so much documentation. I'll try for another... Keep going for another few minutes. Government refused to provide funds to research Fukushima. Virtually zero monitoring. Disconcerting how big of an event Fukushima was and how little data is out there. I was on the ocean... Four to five months a year without coming home, doing species counts from Vancouver, British Columbia to Alaska, and the world has ignored me completely. It's like I, I don't even exist, right? And there's just a small group of us keeping this whole operation moving forward. And we're very fortunate to make it this far. The world's food chain could be compromised. That's what we started off on, wasn't it? Well, it's appropriate we'll end it on that. How many people think that the media is inside the building, 150 feet above the building to the left? Anybody? If there is, they probably can't tie their own shoes, right? So, I say 30 million one-ton bags, but... There's reports. There's about 60 million tons of contaminated soil that's being stored, planned to be stored. There's 60 million tons. Well, I'm saying 30 million tons. I'm, I'm downplaying it. But there's 105,000 sites like that. And now, because when you look at the buildings, you can see the building is destroyed. The official story is nothing got out of the building to your left. Uh, what gets out each year is equal to taking this one gram coin and splitting it 16.666666 ways. And then that's the only thing that's going to get out of the building to your left each year is 0 0.062 grams and only tritium. And so that's a whole different level of hate, isn't it? Isn't that a whole different level? You got the academics telling you, this is July the 13th, Department of Nuclear and Quantum Engineering professor saying it's like three grams of sugar is all that got out of the missing buildings with millions of pounds, and it's equal to 2.2 2 .2 grams of tritium. You see that up there in the third line? top of the page, approximately 2.2 .2 grams of tritium, and it's like throwing three cubes of three grams of sugar into the sea. Look how they phrased that narrative. If we do nothing, even Tokyo become off limit because it's not like tritium. We may not be able to live in Japan someday. Radiation is going to be flowing out for a very, very long time. Well, long past the human experience. And that's why they're pretending they're in a building that don't exist because this is a planet killer. And it didn't need to be. If the planet woke up, we might have come up with solutions. But no, the nuclear industry is so greedy 
and so hateful and, and it's got away with this for 80 years. Telling the truth is not an option. It really isn't. The industry is incapable of doing, of having any redeeming qualities whatsoever. Those buildings should have been razed to the ground. There is nothing left. There really isn't anything left in those buildings. You shouldn't just be protesting. You should be holding them accountable. <laughs> Apologize, everybody. I'm on you dirty, disgusting YouTube. We're going to give it up because otherwise I won't get the video uploaded. It's late right now, my time. So normally this video is going to go live at 10 p.m. The normal time mine is 2 hours and 45 minutes. So if I end the show right now, the time I convert it and uploads it, we can still have the show for 10 p.m. like normal. Except it's hour and 5, hour and 6 minutes. And uh, I got another video I'll upload tomorrow morning from the ocean which is 29 minutes long i shot that in very high quality so i'll make up in other words i'll make up for it. we've been on the ocean the whole day we we're working on a boat early this morning to get it to run again and just uh all that fresh air my eyes are literally i'm so hard to keep my eyes open i apologize i'll make up for it on sunday show I'll be a naughty boy on Sunday, so I'll make up for the show tonight. Hugs for everybody. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. We'll see everybody on Sunday. Thanks for finding time, the courage, and the energy, and the fortitude to hear the truth. Because the truth, and I provide you endless documentation. They provide you with nothing. And so I'm just trying to help get the world educated so the world when it's ready can fight back and uh, you're running out of time so it's time to make up your minds have a great night great weekend we'll see everybody on Sunday take care everybody